At the heart of the bustling city centre, up here at the first floor bar, it feels like an oasis. And it's an excellent place to start a night out. It might be a long night because Vienna has so much to offer. Countless bars, clubs and music venues, large and small. My name's Chris Cummins. Join me for a night out in Vienna. Cheers. Another great place to stop by for a drink is Miranda's in the 6th district. Not only does it look pretty cool, it's got very charming waiting staff and they serve some very fancy drinks. I've taken a Kerala Express, one of Miranda's um, home creations. This one is made with uh, homemade curry syrup, lime juice, mango juice and a St. James and a Gosling's rum. And it really is fantastic. The Albertina Passage is a reconstructed pedestrian subway right next to the Vienna State Opera. Here you'll find sophisticated cuisine and live jazz music in a setting that is quite futuristic. As we all know, a good party needs a good DJ, and Vienna's vibrant music scene plays a large part in the city's nightlife. My name is Daniel. Hello, my name is Gregor, and we are Ogul Stephens. Our music is heavily influenced by house music and techno music, but we also draw influences from other stylistics like jazz music or pop music, so we're very open-minded. Uh, Vienna is a uh, is a very highly cultural rich city. There's a lot going on in the music scene, of course. Variety and the quality of DJs or live acts and bands is, has become pretty good and there is a lot of options to choose from. A good DJ is a good DJ when uh, the person is able to find out if the crowd is in the mood for this or that. It's like a bit of a dialogue. Then if you're a good DJ, you're able to build from that. And then if you're a really good DJ, you're able to tell a story with the stuff that you play. Something that's quite unique about Vienna in terms of going out is that like you can go and have a coffee at four in the afternoon and the whole place can transform from like a bar or a coffee house into like a sort of like a club thing with a little dance floor. And you can like basically stay in the same place from afternoon till morning. That's usually something that you can't find in other cities. You can have a really nice time in Vienna, I guess. <laughs> yeah, personally, I really like the Porgy and Bess a lot because I'm a big jazz fan and I really like the atmosphere there. I really feel good in there and uh, it was even voted one of the best 10 jazz clubs in Europe. One of my favorite places in Vienna would be the Flug. A very relaxed and usually free entry uh, area on top and a nightclub in the basement. One of my favorite places would also be Café Leopold in the Museumsquartier because it has a nice and relaxed café plus a cool nightclub and we're going to celebrate the release party for our debut album Constant Spring there. One of my favorites is also the club called Celeste. Also very open-minded atmosphere where a lot of different nights happen and it's maybe a bit more underground.
The Flex is a popular nightclub right next to the Danube Canal. Its sound system is widely considered to be one of the best in Europe. Many top international and Austrian acts and DJs perform here. One place you wouldn't maybe immediately imagine would be a big venue for parties is the Vienna City Hall. But from time to time, clubbings for electronic music transform the impressive building on the Ringstrasse into a dance temple. Vienna City Hall was constructed between 1872 and 1883. It houses the office of the mayor of Vienna as well as the chambers of the city and the municipal council. If you look closely on the top of the central tower, you can spot the Iron Rathausmann overlooking the city. There's a copy of the statue in front of the building. Numerous events are held inside and in front of Vienna City Hall, including the Life Ball. Its impressive state rooms frequently provide an atmospheric backdrop to press conferences, concerts, clubbings and balls. And if you're looking for a place for the biggest day of your life, you can even make your marriage vows in the beautiful neo-Gothic ambiance of Vienna City Hall. Well, this has been such a wonderful night so far, but it's way past my bedtime. It's time I should go home, so it just leaves me to say to you, please subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.